it's back to the action here in Papandal. It's time for the recurve men's gold medal match. And it's over to Chris Wells to introduce our athletes. Target number one on the left, Geis Broeksma. Fantastic shot this morning, 594 for the 60 hour 18 meter round up against Steve Weiler. Very, very experienced international archer. Still only 24, 25 years old, but he's won the Indoor World Series and he won our last invitational at the World Archery Excellence Center in Lausanne, shooting 12 perfect arrows to beat uh, Germany's Florian Palland. Florian Unruh now, I should say. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Steve Vire winning in Lausanne, uh, as Chris said, with a perfect score. Uh, up against Gies Berksma, who is shooting first in set number one. And straight into the middle of the target. Just what he needs, uh, that in performance in Lausanne from this man, Steve Vire, was pretty impressive, Chris. Are we expecting more of the same here? Well, Steve shot more of the same in his semi-final match, shooting another 12 perfect tens to advance to this final against Geist, but that one's on the edge. I think he's going to get the 10. Oh, a great start from Steve. It's tickling the line there, but that will get marked as a 10 as well. So both on perfect score, provisionally. And you have to say, Brooksma is much closer to the centre of the target, but we are talking, uh, uh, well, less than a centimetre here in different. Uh, another 10, they all count, doesn't matter where they are in that inner ring. If it's squeezed in, it is a 10, and it looks like a perfect 30 from both archers, Chris. Yeah, that first arrow from Steve will be critical. I think it's hit the hit the right side of the line. If he hasn't, he'll be trailing early in this one. And as Geis has shown today, he's got the talent and the level to, to take this all the way if he gets a little advantage early on. Yeah, that first arrow from Viola, as Chris said, critical. I suspect it. He's just clipping the line, but as Chris has mentioned before, sometimes the angles can trick you a little bit here. So we do have to wait for confirmation. Uh, it does look like it is a perfect 30 for the pair of them. Like I said, it doesn't matter where the arrow ends up in the 10 ring. A 10 is a 10 is a 10, and they've both got three of them in the first set. It's time for set number two. So guys will shoot first again. And number four. Mm, another close one for Viola. Still dancing around the ring, Steve Viola. That, that one looks more solid at 10. And it's another perfect score from Geis. That is two 30s in a row. Just what he needs to put some pressure on this man. Well, I was about to say it's all going to come down to that first arrow, uh, but uh, Steve Viola has shot uh, a definite nine in his third arrow. Uh, so that's provisionally a 28. Could get marked up to a 29. Chris, uh, points definitely for this man. Yeah, it doesn't matter what happens with that top arrow. I'd like to know still that last arrow from Steve pushed left. It just goes to show, you know, even against experienced archers, putting that pressure on and and, and, and building up those tens, it, it does build in someone's mind as well. Nothing wrong with Steve's last shot. It just wasn't as comfortable. 
pulled it to the side. All of his arrows aren't, aren't hitting the very middle like Geist is. They're, they're, they're tickling around the edge of the ten ring, as, as you said. It's a sign of someone who's not quite in his groove. Yeah, but he is in the gold medal match. Uh, he will be going into set number three, trailing, as we can see, confirmed on the scoreboard there, trailing by three set points to one. But it's another repeat of the women's gold medal match where the, uh, the fancy front runner is behind and uh, their opponent shooting very well. It's time for set number three. So trailing, Steve Vyer will shoot first in this third set. Possibly his best arrow, well, it's definitely in fact his best arrow so far in the match. Well, this man struggling to miss the very center of the target. agonizingly long hold but it is a perfect 30 again for Steve Vyers second in the match can he hold his nerve yes he can and that's 10 number nine that's three consecutive perfect scores for Geis Bruxma the 21 year old Dutchman is leading his compatriot now by four set points to two as the pair share the points in the third set another impressive performance from a young dutch archer chris yeah unbelievably impressive actually he, he's not just been hitting the 10 ring for the rika four centimeters across but the, the compound archers not not shooting this weekend in papendal shoot a two centimeter 10 ring even smaller i don't think he's even missed that really really impressive consistent and very accurate shooting all of steve's arrows have landed low of the middle of the target i'd expect him to be making adjustments earlier on we're nine arrows into the match now it hasn't really cost him because that that one that went wide went to the left uh, the height wouldn't have made any difference but you know a little bit low if you just miss by a millimeter and it changes the outcome that's that's a an unforgivable mistake well can he get back into it? It's set number four. Lila trailing by two set points. Right, there's a 10. But Chris, just starting to get a feeling that Violet's just holding on a little bit longer than we're used to with him. Steve's never been one for a quick, fluid shot, especially in match play. He's one of those more determined, I'll make it go in the middle kind of archers. When it works, it works. But right there, that's another nine. Opportunity for guys here. And it is another 10. Just dropping one point could prove fatal for Steve Viola. I argue he needs a 10 here to stay in the match. It is a 10, but a 29. Will we get a 12th 10 from Geis now and the gold medal? Well, it does indeed look like it is 12 tens and four perfect scores for Geis Brooksma, the 21 year old. He's looking pretty confident. And for me, he's taken this match in fine form against uh, the well fourth ranked athlete in this series at the moment and his teammate steve vire chris an incredible performance yeah fantastic shooting from guys 
Uh, he's rotated into the Dutch team for internationals a few times in his career, but he's around that kind of fourth, third spot. Not the fourth, third spot here today. Uh, definitely deserved winner. Fantastic shooting uh, in that final. Four perfect tens. Really, really, really impressive. Very impressive indeed. The 21 year old Guys Bruxma from the Netherlands takes the gold here in Papendal.